Hey everyone, it's James. And Stephanie. And we're here with the first quick look at new Winnebago Trend 23D. Yep, and this is from the 2015 RVAA Louisville show. Yeah, that's where we caught up with this one. Yep. And the first thing I noticed right away, mm -hmm. sights, windows, they've got them in there. We love ours. Yeah, and you might have seen when we did those the Infrared test. pictures. Yeah, that they were very efficient. Extremely efficient. Mm -hmm. And you'll see when we get to the inside, they include some other nifty features as well. Yeah, and that one's really big. A nice yeah. big windows. Yep. Now here we've got a uh, outside storage compartment uh -huh. that has one of those like tubs in it that I never quite understand <laughs> what it is. You can yes. also see the uh, there's the tub uh -huh. and the freshwater tank yes. back there as well. And here I am going up on the roof, uh, LED lights. Yep, there was a Zamp Solar package right yeah. on this one. That's optional. There we go, and you can see it there. Uh -huh. the combiner box, just like what we have, and we like ours. It's easy, easy, easy to expand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, there's the antenna. Now this is what got me excited about the trend. Right. They've got a slide on a ProMaster chassis. Everyone thought that we couldn't do it. There wasn't enough weight. Some doors, sewer hose storage, electrical. But whatever. Winnebago was able to figure out a slide yeah. on a ProMaster. I don't know how so, they did it. They got some yeah, sort of that's alchemy great. going on. Yeah. Uh, and the refrigerator. I don't know if you can see though the vents for the fridge. The fridge is in the slide. Uh huh. So the fridge will move in and out. Yep, and a little couch. Yep. Fridge and the couch are in the slide. So, so here we go into the uh, ProMaster chassis and the Winnebago Trend. Mm -hmm. And the first thing you're going to notice is that this is a a twin bed floor plan. Yeah, and that was a slide area. There's the two twins. Yeah, very spacious feeling back there, uh -huh. due in large part, I think, to those ginormous windows. Right, the windows help, but I always think it helps when the bathroom is in the back to make the cab feel so much more open and spacious. You don't you don't pinch it off with the bathroom. Right, right, with the Plenty side. Plenty of storage. Yeah, th these cabinets, I don't know if you can get a feel for how deep these were. There's a ton of storage right there in yeah. the back corner. And there's stuff in there now. I mean, you know, it's like delivery items or whatever, yeah. but yeah. plenty of storage uh -huh. there on that side. And then if we look around to the other side, there is a rather large shower. Uh huh. Um, Same shower head as ours. Yeah. And you, it's great. You're I able, like it. You're able to get your hair clean with that. Yeah, yep. And, oh. uh, Oh my, all right, <laughs> here we go with that. Got so, distracted with my boots for a second. Yeah. But yeah, the shower door is fantastic. Oh, there's my boots again. I just got those at the Louisville <laughs> oh, show. They have a Zappos outlet in Louisville, guys. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, anyway, back to the I do the like beds. the shower door, though, that, that slidey, plasticky thing. Yeah, I like those. Um, Look how so big the, that window is. I know, and the beds have that same articulating mechanism that you'll find on the Travato 59K. Yeah. yeah, so you have that lounging capability. And the windows, the sights windows, that, that's just part of the window. It's not an extra thing. The, uh -huh. uh, the screening and then also the, the shade, yeah. part of the window. Yep. All right, you can see above each bed, there's a USB outlet there and a little compartment. Very yeah. similar to what we saw in uh -huh. the Uh-huh, his and hers. The beds do come together and make one giant bed. Giant, and giant yeah. would be the operative word because it's pretty big back there. Yeah, and check out that cabinetry. What do you not notice there? Well, I, I noticed that you're not able to open them. <laughs> and it just took me a minute. There, I got it. I right, so it they've taken the, uh, the disappearing push button latches a step further, uh -huh. and those latches are just completely invisible. So very, I very, like that. very clean looking. Yeah, I, I liked having to reach under and, and do that. Very and, uh, and there's one giant cabinet on that side, and there's the Jensen and some other, uh, some other controls. There's the uh -huh. solar charge controller, yep. one place monitoring the control for the slide room, and... Uh, I think a, maybe a pump switch. I don't know. Well, I like that they're hidden away, that they're not just out and exposed. True. It makes it look nicer. And there we go. Look, you could put skis in that compartment. That is that is huge. Uh-huh. Yeah. And there's no, there's no wall or anything in the middle of it that's that's blocking it up. And those are fairly sturdy, it looks like. You're yeah. drinking on them. They're pretty hard. Yeah. Yeah. Like this. Okay. The TV Here's came the out. TV. Turned completely around so you could watch it from the front. Yep. There's a little privacy screen there that we're uh, oh, yeah. rolling around with the TV mm -hmm. so that you could actually sleep more than one, uh, you know, Yeah. Area. Separation of the two front and back. All right. The so cab. there are two tables that come with this guy and three different places to put them in, it looks like. Yeah. And and oh. there are your boots. No, I was I wasn't showing my boots. I was showing yes. the table. You were showing the your table. Boots. Okay, maybe I was showing my boots. All right, so there's another <laughs> uh, another sofa that sort of splits out. That actually had seat belts in it too. Yeah, two of them. So yeah. you can see two people there. And uh, more storage mm -hmm. with hidden latches and a refrigerator that doesn't open. <laughs> oh no, it does open. I got it. I just it was for dramatic effect. I paused before I opening it. I see. So there's a refrigerator, and that's a, uh, I don't know if it's a two-way or three-way, but it does use propane. Yeah. That fridge. And a convection yeah. microwave. Right, right. Now, across the way in the galley, 
I really like that cabinet on the left. You uh-huh. see, it's got the shelves. It's much more useful, I think, in right. the galley because you can actually stack stuff up higher. And it had that metal higher. lip to hold things in, too, so they're not yep. rattling around. Yep. So, Other than that, the galley was pretty standard. Uh, I didn't want to move their stuff, so I just left it. But it's typical sink. Propane, propane Those burners. drawers, look how deep the drawers are. Boom. Yeah, I don't They're, know if you can get a feel for that, but again, very deep. A lot of storage in yeah. this thing. And there was a water filtration system in there, too. I don't All know right. if you caught that. Cool. Now, look, this behind the galley, uh-huh. not metal blinds. Yeah. Because it's the site's window, I guess. I don't know, but they're able to use the site's window, so there's no clank, 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 clank while you're driving down the road. No metal blinds there if you get the site's windows. Yeah, yeah. But the windows were just fantastic in there. It gave it a real light, airy, breezy, open yep. feel. Yep, and all the windows in in the in the is it even the one on the slide I don't remember but most of the windows in there were the site's windows uh-huh. and uh, it's pretty much I think gonna wrap it up for this review of the trend 23d yeah. Yeah. not our detailed review no but this is another great option for you and it's very economically priced too. true true it is yeah. so take a look all right thanks See you later. guys bye, bye.